we have a couple of exercises to refresh our memory and to keep us alert with respect to balance sheet items, income statement items, posting to ledger, and so on. The beginning balance of retained earnings was 140 dirham. Dividend declared and paid were 18,000. So the beginning of retained earning was 140,000. They have paid dividend of 18,000. The ending balance of retained earning is 120. Which of the following is true? In the following, we are asking about net income, net loss, or net income and net loss. Let's think about it mathematically. We start with the retained earning, which is 140. We add to the retained earning the net income. So we have to see which one of these net income we have to add. So we have 140. We paid out of this retained earning 18,000 in terms of dividend. So we, pay, we, we had beginning 140. We paid 18,000. So we're left with 122,000. Once we looked at the retained earning, the ending balance it was 120. Or we have 122 difference here and we're left with 120. It means that there is 2,000 2000 dirham that are missing. There is a number that has reduced my ending balance and the retained earning by 2,000 dirham. As we've seen before, profit will increase the assets and a loss will decrease the assets. So 122,000 was reduced to 120,000, which means that the company effectively lost 122,000 going down to 120,000 that's a loss of 2,000 dirham. So the correct answer should be C. If assets total is 400,000 dirham and owner's equity total is 250,000 then total liability must be. This one is an easy question. Remember assets minus liabilities equal to equity or assets it should be equal to liability plus, plus owner's equity. So the difference between the assets and the equities should be equal to liability. Four hundred minus two fifty, and accordingly, the answer will be the difference, which is a one fifty thousand dirham. In which order? are liabilities usually listed in the balance sheet. Remember, on the asset side, we start from cash, going down to near cash items, to investment, to account receivables, or to inventory. On the liability side, we always have to start with the shorter in terms of payment. So we have to look at which one we have to pay earlier. The order in which they are incurred, it has nothing to do with the balance sheet. The order of smallest to largest, it's out of scope. Alphabetical order, it has nothing to do with accounting. The order in which they are expected to be, to be repaid. So on the balance sheet, on the asset side, we put them in the order in which we are expecting to receive them. And accordingly, on the, manage, on the liability side, we put the items on the liability in order in which we expect to pay them out. So the answer should be D.